All right, guys, what's up? It's Blue Dreamer here, and we're going to do something a little bit different right now. Uh, today, I'm going to be doing a complete noob's guide to Stakescape. Uh, so we're going to be covering a couple different things. We're going to cover all the monster drops and drop rates, things like that. Uh, useful stuff on the Discord, why you should make a Discord if you don't already have one. Download the app, and uh, we'll get to that a little bit later, though. And I'm also going to show you uh, basically how to start from scratch. As you can see here, I've uh, got a whole new account. Nothing, uh, nothing on here yet. Just started this one completely from scratch. Absolute zero, and we're ready to go. But before we get into that, uh, the first thing I want to show you guys uh, for all the newcomers here. Uh, well, the first thing that I wanted to know and absolutely had the hardest time finding any information on it was the drop tables. So on this main screen right here, if you click on the little uh, three bars, the red, green, and blue bars down at the bottom right corner, it'll bring up this page right here. And from here, you can see all of the uh, monsters, all the NPCs, all the bosses, and you can see their... Uh, items that they drop, how rare they are, and also their uh, weakness. For this one, it's melee uh, over here. Chaos Elemental is also melee. You can see all their drops. So that's really useful to know. And another thing is you can see all the in-game items right here. Now, not all of these are actually in-game right now. Uh, the only ones really that you have to worry about that aren't in-game are the, uh, the two Ice Barrage spells, the Ice Barrage and the other one. I can't really remember what it's called right now. You know, but all this stuff is really useful to know. You know, if you want to figure out what you can get from your medium clue scrolls and things like that you can find those all right here so that's the first thing I'm gonna start off with and also this shows you what you can craft and how you can craft it all that good stuff so now that that's over uh, we're also going to take a look into uh, how you actually start out the game so the easiest way in my opinion to start out the game and again, this is from complete scratch, zero, uh, is to go to the MPZ zone, go to the mob zone, and find yourself the guards right here, okay? So we're going to start. Just kill the guards. Don't use any of your food. Don't worry about it. If it kills you, that's fine. It shouldn't, though, most of the time. So you're just going to keep killing this guard and restarting until you get some clue scrolls. And then we'll uh, go over what happens whenever you get your clue scroll. But this is how I started out the game last time. I figured out the guards dropped uh, medium clue scrolls. Pretty common. And once you get those medium clue scrolls, you get a lot of adamant items rolling in. Uh, so you can pretty much get a full set of adamant armor just right off the bat. It's really nice. And you get a little bit of starter gold too. It's not much, not really uh, anything to make a difference, but you know, it's still nice. Alright, there you go. Got our first medium clue scroll. Let's go back and see what is in it. Adamant plate body. That's what I'm talking about. Nice way to start things out. Adamant plate body. And essentially, you just want to keep doing this until you get a full set of adamant items. And it's okay if you get any duplicates because you just sell those off to the shops, which I'll go over here in a little bit and show you how to do that. And once you sell them off to the shops and you get enough cash going, 
uh, you can buy yourself some rune armor. Really nice to have. Really good way to start. Alrighty, we got another medium clue scroll here. 21 kills in. Let's go check out and see what we get from it. 375 death runes. Not too shabby. You know, starting out, uh, it's not really too important to start collecting all these collectibles. So what I like to do is go on here, click on my bones, select all, sell them. Same thing with the death runes. Sell them all. Boom. 66 grand just like that in 22 kills. And I have a piece of adamant armor. So what we can do from there is uh, go on over and select this room plate body. Go ahead and buy that. Go back to our inventory. Switch this out. Head back over to the shop. Sell this. 25 grand right there. That brings us up to 30k. Let's see. That means we can buy a rune helm. Go ahead and get that rune helm. And what we can do also is go ahead and fill in some of the other slots that we don't have yet. Just like that. Go back to our inventory. Just like that, get fully equipped almost. Starting out, it's not bad at all. You don't get a whole lot of defense from the bronze. Uh, you know, that's to be expected. But look, we already have 80 defense from two rune items. So we got a pretty good start here. Go back over to the MPZ zone. And uh, keep grinding out these guards. We'll get back to it. Shouldn't have even stopped recording because the very next kill, what do you know? We get that medium clue scroll. Let's go back over to the inventory. See what we got. Another adamant plate body. You know, even though it's a duplicate, it's still a good, uh, good piece of armor to have. Because that's going to bring us up another 25 grand. Or, well, almost 25 grand. It's not exact what you sell it back as to what you buy from the shop. But you know what? We're getting there. We get a few more drops and we'll have a rune, uh, rune plate legs. And then the only thing after that to get is the uh, rune kite shield. So I'm going to go back at it and we'll see you on the next uh, medium clue scroll drop. Alrighty, we got another uh, medium clue scroll here. Let's go check out what's inside. Adamant plate legs. All right, it's a pretty nice upgrade right there. I'm gonna go ahead and equip those for now since I can't actually uh, buy any more of the rune items just quite yet. Go back to the NPC zone and uh, get things going again. Went on a bit of a dry spell, about 20 kills without a uh, clue scroll, but you know what? That's not bad. So uh, I'll see you back in a second whenever I get the next one. Alrighty, got another clue scroll here, so let's uh, go open it up, see what we got. Adamant plate skirt, pretty nice, I'll be able to sell that. I'll go ahead and wait to sell that till we get one more drop. Uh, let's go ahead and get back to it. Alrighty, got another medium clue scroll here at 59 kills. Going pretty good so far. Probably going to be able to buy a uh, another piece of rune armor here in a second. Open this up. Adamant Scimitar. Nice. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and equip that. Got a new piece of uh, weaponry. That's going to make killing these guards go a whole lot faster. So let's get back to it. Just kind of showing you how much faster these guards are now that I have the Adamant Scimitar. These kills are going to start going by a lot quicker. Usually take them out in two hits. Sometimes it takes three or four. But uh, you know what? It's a lot better than like ten hits at a time.
everybody. Got another clue scroll here. Let's check it out. See what we got. Hopefully something good. It doesn't even really matter if it's something good. It'll be something we can sell either way. Another adamant plate body. One of the best ones because uh, they're kind of worth the most out of all the adamant items. So let's go ahead and sell what we got and see if we can get anything else. 58k right now. Can't really buy anything else with that. We need 100 uh, to get things going. But we're getting uh, getting pretty close to having full runes, so let's uh, keep it going. I'll probably have it done within 100 kills, but uh, let's see. Maybe it'll be a little bit sooner. Alright, see you back in a few. Alrighty, got another clue scroll here. Let's go see what we got. Adamant plate skirt. I'll take it. Let's keep going, get back at it, and I'll be back at you in a second. We got another clue scroll, let's see what we got. Alright, Dragon Bolt Tips. That's a good one, because uh, just like those Chaos Runes earlier, we're going to be able to sell that for quite a bit. All of them. Brings us up to 70k. So this one brings us up to 80, which means uh, we're more or less one drop away from getting our next piece of rune. So I'll see you then. These clue scrolls are pretty easy to come by. Just got another one. Addy Full Helm. Let's see, I don't think that that's going to bring us all the way up. But it just might, so let's uh, go ahead and sell it, find out. Uh, we're just about 2k shy. Go ahead and sell these bones. Hey, there we go. That brings us up. So, I guess next, let's get the plate legs. Rune plate legs. Go to our inventory. Equip that. shop go ahead and sell those off get us a little bit of cash going and then back to it I'll see you in the few I'm gonna go ahead and get oh let's say five or six clue scrolls ready then we'll open them all at once and uh, see if that's enough to uh, get us that last piece of rune armor so I'll see you then Alright, so we've grinded out close to 200 kills on the guard so far. Uh, of course, you've seen all the other stuff that I got from all the medium clue scrolls. But, let's go ahead and open these five and uh, see what we get from it. Whole bunch of adamant stuff. Pretty nice little drop. Go ahead and sell this all off. Pretty close to having enough. Uh, grind out a few more kills and then I'll be, uh, be right back. Alrighty, just like that, we got two more clue scrolls. Should definitely be enough at this point to uh, go finish off our rune armor set. Go into the shop. Sell all this off. Yep, more than enough. I think the only thing I'm missing is the rune kite shield. Go ahead and grab that. Clip it. And boom, just like that, you got a hundred and sixty defense. And not only do you have a hundred and sixty defense, but um, we also have the ability to uh, hit a max strike of uh, seventeen with our adamant scimitar so that really helps a whole lot
We'll go ahead and sell off this. We got a little bit of money, and the next thing that you really want to go for money-wise is going to be this Dragon Dagger right here, 125k, and the Dragon Skimitar. And what you can do uh, for that is either keep grinding out these guards. I would say about every 50 kills is 100k, uh, somewhere in there. And really, it doesn't take very long at all to kill these guys, uh, as you can see, killing them all in about, oh, two to four hits each time with the Adamant Skimitar. So really nice, really simple, easy way to get money, just killing these guards if you're, uh, if you're new, BC, just like that, three kills, got a medium clue scroll, open it up, Adamant Plate Body. Easy 20 grand right there in almost no time at all. Alrighty. Alrighty, so now we're all set up to uh, kind of get out of the newbie area almost. Uh, we got ourselves an adamant scimitar, a full rune set of armor, and a little bit of starter cash. Uh, so now what we're probably going to want to do is head on over to the Discord. And if you don't have it yet, you just click on the, uh, the little bug looking icon in the bottom left corner. And it'll open up this uh, Discord app invite uh, right there in the top corner, that 3ETJVVN. That's the actual uh, link for the Discord server. Uh, it'll pull this up. It'll get you on the Discord app if you already have it. It'll give you a little install button if you don't have it installed. Uh, then once you get it installed, you know, just go through the simple steps to get over on the Discord. Uh, once you actually get up on the Discord, you'll see this uh, area called Game Help. You can click the top three bars right here. You see all the different sections. There's a couple of voice chats, an advertising section, uh, quest guides, off topic, uh, achievements, all this good sort of stuff. The achievements are really nice. You go in, see what people got, you know, their kill counts, drops, stuff like that. Uh, you know, it's really nice to see, holy crap, took that guy a thousand kills for the Obsidian Cape. That's one hell of a dry run. Um, Staff of the Dead, Armadillo Chain Skirt, yeah, it's nice seeing all that. But what you're probably going to be into whenever you just start off, what you really need to look at is go over here to the... Um, game help section let's see and then in the top right corner these three little uh, bars right there click on that and then click on pinned messages uh, they got a whole bunch of useful stuff right here talking about cooking level one you can start cooking shrimp it'll stop burning at 33 so on and so forth all the way up to angler fish uh, at 84 Right here, it's a couple of the drop tables that show you in a little bit more detail uh, some of the good drops. Abyssal Demon, you can get the whip, 1 out of 512. Uh, the Abyssal Dagger is 1 out of 32,000 something. You know, a bunch of really nice drops right here for you to look at. Kind of see what you want to get. You know, all that good stuff keeps on going. Down here we got the fishing, all the different levels you can catch fish at. And uh, the wood cutting, all the different levels you can cut wood at. So those pin messages are very useful. And also if you have any trouble in the game at all, just post in here and uh, someone will try and help you out. You know, pretty useful Discord. Everyone uh, is pretty helpful on here, so it usually works out most of the time. Uh, you know, that's... a uh, pretty much all the discord app that's most there is to it except for the uh, buy and sell section but if you're a new player like me right now you don't have access to the auction house um, so you can't really do any buy or sells I mean you can still buy stuff with gold but as of right now gold's pretty much useless uh, but you know the way people sell things or trade things on here is they'll put it in for a hundred GP after asking you if you're ready, they'll do a countdown for you, um, and you'll get it first. Uh, you know, I'll kind of go into that more detailed on a later video, 
uh, hopefully either tomorrow or the next day after they get the auction house fixed in this next update. So I'm really looking forward to that, but uh, that's about all there is to the uh, Discord right now, so. Alrighty, uh, another nice little thing for you to know is up right here in this top left hand corner, uh, it'll show you your players online, and if it says zero, then that means your auction house is bugged. It means you actually can't put anything up in the auction house without it disappearing. No one will be able to buy it. Um, you know, you won't get anything for it. You'll just completely lose your item. You know, uh, and the first time you look at the auction house, you might be a little bit confused because all this stuff just has absolute insane, insane prices on it. Um, you know, 10 bill for five angler fish crazy amounts of stuff. Tin bill for a berserker helm. It's actually not too bad considering money's kind of uh, absolutely worthless right now. But, you know, iron full helm, tin bill. You know, so there are some things on there, uh, but money was pretty much broken early in game due to a few bug abusers. Uh, so pretty much everything on here is just going to be an insane insane amount of money uh, sometimes you can go on here sort by price and you'll find some more reasonably priced stuff but still one mil for rune longsword two and a half mil for a rune crossbow that you can get for 500k in the shop 20 mil for a granite mall you know uh, but essentially that's the the basics to the auction house right now there really isn't a whole lot to it and then over here, we have all the different uh, games and, you know, clue hunters, pest controls. Clue hunter is a really nice way to uh, get some clue scrolls. You can't really do it at this level uh, without any good gear because you just get absolutely destroyed. Same thing with God Wars Dungeon Rumbles. You get a God Wars Dungeon chest. Has a really good uh, drop rate for some items, you know. Uh, really useful stuff. And Barbarian Assault, I do recommend going ahead and uh, doing Barbarian Assault for a little while. Uh, do maybe one or two random bags, see if you can get the, uh, the gloves or these boots right here. They're both very useful, and if you don't get either of those, then still you're going to get something pretty worthwhile. You're going to get one of these helms, or uh, maybe even that cape down there. Pretty good stuff, uh, pretty simple to get. You know, you just go on here, go through a couple waves. Uh, each one of these waves have different monsters on them. You know, uh, it's not that hard. You could even do it in your uh, new newbie gear. Uh, pretty simple. But what I would recommend is uh, getting some help on the Discord. You know, uh, post any of your achievements on there. Really get to know the people because there's a really nice uh, tight-knit community uh, that like to help each other out. Um, you know, so this is a pretty good community so far. Really great game. Um, you know, but uh, once you have this newbie gear going, what you're gonna, what I would suggest is to start killing this Fremenic guard right here because he's pretty easy to kill. You don't really need food for him with your current gear set up if you followed uh, the video so far, so you can just keep killing him. And something that's nice about this guy is that he drops uh, lobsters on the regular, 15 lobsters just like that real nice and simple so you can kind of start collecting food without even having to uh, worry about skilling yet because uh, skilling is kind of a pain uh, with all the advertisements but uh, you know you get chaos runes good little money maker um, and you know you just you just keep on doing that until you get the helms uh, this guy I'll show you right here what all he drops He's got medium clue scrolls as an uncommon. You got the lobsters and the sharks as common, uncommon, and then you also have monkfish as uncommon. Uh, medium clue scrolls, sharks, uncommon, and then you have the farseer helm, which is good for magic, the berserker helm, which is good for uh, just melee, and the archer helm, which is of course good for archery. So uh, these give you a good defense bonus. 
and also a nice little attack bonus to whichever you're using and there's also a chance to get a hard clue scroll out of it so really nice guy simple easy to uh, to grind for the, your first few kills uh, keep going till you get your helm I suggest getting all three but uh, maybe just get the berserker helm to start it out and then after that what I would suggest is going for the uh, Tazar Ket guy right down here because you got a really good chance of getting the Obsidian Cape, the Obby Maul, and the Obby Shield while also getting Medium Clue Scrolls is an uncommon drop and Chaos Runes for money so it's really nice you know uh, you get these Talk Cool also which aren't really used for anything in game right now but they will be in the future hopefully and then once you get that cape and you have that helm um, then it's time to start going for a real weapon. You want a good weapon, something that has high damage per second, something that's melee because you're going for melee right now. Um, so what I would suggest doing is going after this Zamorak boss, the Krill Tusarath or whatever you call his name. Because you can get the Zami Hilt and all your God Sword shards, well most of them, yeah no all of them. And then he also drops the Staff of the Dead, which is, I think, the best in-game mage uh, right now, the mage weapon. And you also get these common drops that are good for money. So, I'll go ahead and show you uh, pretty much just how easy he is. Alrighty, guys. So, I went ahead and hopped over on my regular account here just so I could uh, go ahead and get this video out a little bit sooner. Um... So, as you can see, I've set up my noob gear. I got rune armor, my berserker helm, my dragon defender, the obsidian cape, and uh, the penis gloves from, uh, you know, the minigame. Uh, you know, all the basic starter items that you need. And, let's see, I forgot to equip my amulet of power. One of those things that you probably got somewhere along the way is definitely the Amulet of Power, especially if you're doing Clue Scrolls. Uh, it's a pretty common drop from mediums, so uh, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'll show you just how easy this Zamorak boss can be. Uh, I haven't really fought him a lot since I started the game. I kind of tried him the first few times whenever I started out, uh, just trying out different bosses, seeing which one I could kill, so that's where that loss comes in at but as you can see that one win there uh, I actually just got that with this setup making sure beforehand that I was going to be able to do this uh, so what you want to do is attack him and whenever you get to about 50 health he'll back up because this guy can hit you pretty hard he's going to be hitting you for 30s and stuff like that so you want to make sure you're kind of on top of your health because you can start dropping pretty quickly pretty quickly but as you can see, even with just the basic armor set up, he doesn't really hit that hard and you're able to do quite a bit of damage to him. You know, you're not going to win 100% of the time. You're probably going to run out of food at first, especially if you're just using lobsters. Uh, as you can see here, I'm probably about to lose this one. But you know what? He's one of the easiest bosses to farm and he has uh, one of the best base attack weapons in game for melee. So. Uh, it's kind of a really good idea to uh, go ahead and go after him. Let's see. Yeah, it killed me on that one. Let's try it again real quick. I really advise you getting some uh, better food than lobsters if you're going to be doing this. So go ahead and head over to the skilling area. I'm uh, going to try it with monkfish right here. Just some of the stuff I got from a medium drops and uh, a couple of the other uh, you know, NPCs that I farmed. Let's go back over here and try it out, even though I don't have a full 20 monk fish. Should be able to do the trick. You know, and like I said, starting out, you're not going to be able to kill him every single time. you got newbie gear, newbie weapons, but you know, uh, while you're farming for other items, it, it, it's, a, it's a good idea to just come over here and get a couple kills. Because you never know when you're going to luck out and get that, uh, you know, rare... Zamorak God Sword drop. So, go 
go ahead and heal back up because he can hit you for like 33 or something like that. And there you have it. Rune Longsword Drop. And we'll go ahead and show you his drop table one more time. So he's definitely not the easiest to kill, but he does have some really good common drops that'll help you start building up your bank a little bit. And this is what you're really going after, is the Zamorak Hilt, these God Sword Shards, and also the Zamorakian Spear, and the Staff of the Dead. Once you get, you know, a good amount of kills on this guy, you got some of the, the best weapons in game. Uh, after you get some of those really nice drops, so he's definitely a good boss to uh, start out doing Especially since you can kill him with you know a really newbie setup um, But yeah, I think that's gonna be it for this video guys uh, if you have any suggestions in the future maybe some uh, tips or You know things of that nature that you want me to go into more detail later. Let me know down below uh, in the comments section and uh, thanks guys for watching. Hope this helped and hope you have a good one.